start with contracting sprites. Chapter 196, You Lost. The person I'm challenging is. Su Hao looked at the senior with the lightning pattern on his clothes. Lei Tan. He was ranked 97th place in the special training camp. Among the ten present, he was below average, but he had only been challenged once. Thunder element was too violent. Under the thunder prison environment created by Lei Tan, the challenger only lasted for 40 to 50 seconds before he lost without any suspense. His three sprites are all thunder element sprites. The antlers of his mount, the thunder deer, can absorb thunder. Under the thunder prison tactical system he created, he himself wouldn't be affected by the thunder, but his opponents would be restricted everywhere. If I can't crack the thunder prison tactical system, I have to defeat the three sprites of Lei Tan in a short period of time, especially that purple lightning wings. But that required him having much more skills than Lei Tan. The other challengers didn't. Su Hao, didn't either. But. When challenging others, entry-level electric bear can only be reduced to decoration, but if the challenged is Lei Tan, the electric bear can actually be of great use. It's my turn. When Lei Tan saw Su Hao, he smiled. I don't think this person was here to fight for a spot in the special training camp at the end of last semester. He's probably just a minor character. Do you think I should cut him some slack? I used too much force just now. I thought that no one would dare to challenge me anymore. He smiled and asked the boy in yellow, his face relaxed. It couldn't be helped. Although they were ranked last in the special training camp, they were only facing ordinary students outside the special training camp. It was just like how top students had a sense of superiority when facing ordinary students. The pressure that those monsters from the elite class gave them was too great. In the eyes of Lei Tan, the students of the ordinary class were especially pleasing to the eye. They could be abused. Challenged? That was impossible. He didn't dare to relax for even a moment in the special training camp. He knew very well how much he had improved. The muscular boy shook his head. Be careful. No matter when, you have to face any opponent with all your might. A light screen rose towards the battlefield, enveloping them like a barrier. Only the top was not covered. At this moment, the purple lightning wings covered in lightning flew in the air. Thunder rumbled from the body of the thunderous pig king standing at the very front. In comparison, on Su Hao's side, wood element, fire element, water element, thunder element. They looked like a mixed army. Especially that entry-level electric bear, it was like a joke. Lei Tan shook his head slightly. Countless eyes were staring at them from the outside. The instructor shouted, Begin. In an instant. Thunder Prison. Without needing to shout, the three sprites joined forces and used the unique skill Thunder Prison in an instant. Top level Thunder Element Unique Skill. It required a long accumulation period to be used, but the combination of Lei Tan's three sprites and the special accumulation method made up for this shortcoming. It became the most important part of his team battle system. In just a second or two, Countless thunder arcs jumped and spread out. It covered the entire battlefield. It was as if Su Hao was in Bear King Mountain's thunder prison. His aura was naturally inferior, but he calmed down. Sizzle. Thunder snakes shot over. It hit the huge bubble of reflecting light. For a moment, countless tiny thunder arcs ran all over the surface of the bubble, and countless ripples appeared on the bubble. At the same time, the flaming spirit crow pounced towards the purple lightning wings in the air. Butterfly danced in mid-air. Three orbs surrounded it, surrounded by an invisible psychic shield that blocked the lightning arcs that were running around everywhere. It's useless. Just ordinary thunder could make other people's sprites tired of dealing with it. Besides. Sizzle. With a wave of the purple lightning wings, several thunder streaks flew out interweaving and gathering with other thunderbolts in the air, turning into thunder pillars as thick as water buckets, directly hitting the flaming spirit crow flying over. 
the dark red figure still didn't dodge. Squawk! Its body was covered in countless red flaming feathers. Flames surrounded it. The next moment, dazzling light exploded. A blazing sun appeared in the sky above the battlefield. It pushed forward. The thick thunder pillar was swallowed by the hot flames under the sun form, leaving only a few thunder arcs that jumped onto the flaming spirit crow. It didn't mind at all and pounced straight at the purple lightning wings. What is that? Not only Leitan, the others also widened their eyes. They stared blankly at the blazing sun that had suddenly appeared. Bright and dazzling. It carried an invincible might. Retreat. Lightning ball. Leitan reacted very quickly. He immediately issued commands through the contract. At the same time, countless thunder arcs gathered on the thunder drum in front of the thunderous pig king, all targeting the blazing sun in the sky. Only the thunder deer remained on standby, protecting itself and waiting to provide support at any time. Suddenly, three inconspicuous round orbs rushed out of the sea of thunder and smashed towards the thunderous pig king. The thunderous pig king, which was accumulating power, didn't feel threatened. It stretched out a palm the size of a cattail leaf fan and slapped it forcefully onto the three round orbs flying over. The orbs were sent flying with a whoosh. There were no cracks. But Butterfly also felt heartache looking at them. It glared fiercely at the thunderous pig king, whose movements suddenly froze, and whose expression was twisted in extreme pain. Then, it focused its attention on the purple lightning wings in the sky. The purple lightning wings was retreating. At the same time, countless bolts of lightning gathered in front of it, forming a huge thunder ball three to four meters in diameter. Lightning ball. It wasn't much smaller than the blazing sun either. The lightning ball was pushed out forcefully. Oh whoa. A roar came from below. A big white bear stood up and raised its arms. It didn't understand. He saw that the lightning ball that was originally blasting straight out actually drew an arc in the air and fell down. Along with it swerved the thunder streaks near the purple lightning wings. The sky was clear. A blazing sun came crashing over. The eyes of the purple lightning wings, which was retreating desperately, showed traces of confusion, panic. Countless overlapping scenes appeared in its eyes and its consciousness suddenly became muddle-headed. It struggled with all its might. The voice of the sprite trainer pulled it up from oblivion. It broke through the illusion abruptly, but was hit by the spirit power again. Its brain jolted with pain, and its flapping body became unsteady. In an instant, Blazing Sun, which was already very close, bumped into it. Saber shadows flashed in the Blazing Sun and slashed right onto its body. Piercing pain, extreme pain. It looked like it was going to be burnt. The purple lightning wings let out a painful howl. Lightning erupted all over its body as it used its unique skill, Berserk Thunder. Under its instinctive control, countless thunder snakes blasted forward desperately. Whoosh! Whoosh! Slash! Boom! In just one to two seconds. In midair, the blazing sun once again separated from the purple lightning wings that was covered in lightning. A purple figure fell from the sky. It fell straight down. It hit the hard floor with a boom. Elsewhere. That huge ball of lightning fell from the sky and blasted towards the thunderous pig king standing in the center of the field. Boom. The thunderous pig king rushed out from the smoke and dust that filled the sky from the explosion, heading straight for the electric bear. That was the command of Leitan. His expression was gloomy, but he still made the most accurate judgment. The thunderous pig king's charging smashed through the psychic shield that Butterfly had used to block in the middle, and hit the electric bear without any reduction in momentum. It made a whimper. Its big, white, fat body rolled out and smashed against the light screen, seemingly becoming a little flatter than before. Go in peace. Pfft. Attack side by side, chop up that pig. Blazing sun descended from the sky. Butterfly withdrew the orbs that circled around its body. It threw out energy balls one after another. 
At the same time, it used an illusion to leave imprints on the thunderous pig king's body. The other sprite, Thunder Deer, needed to protect Lei Tan, so it could only send out a few lightning bolts from afar to provide support. In just ten seconds, the illusion imprint erupted. The flaming spirit crow released a few feather clones, which similarly enveloped the flames and made a suicidal attack as they swooped down. It was also hovering around, waiting for an opportunity to, rush up and slash, slash, slash. Boom! The thunderous pig king turned into a charcoal burning pig. A flaming spirit crow and a reverie butterfly surrounded Lei Tan and Thunder Deer on both sides. Countless attacks landed, blowing up dust and smoke all over the sky. The Thunder Deer was in a sorry state. The protective shield around Lei Tan trembled continuously. At this moment, the water unicorn beast raised its hooves and stepped forward, stopping more than ten meters away. On the horse's back, Su Hao looked at the senior sprawled on the Thunder Deer, paused, and spoke. He said two words. You lost. Chapter 197, Real Illusion, Profound Meaning Stone Tablet Two words. It was always spoken by the students from the special training camp. But now, the roles have reversed. Lei Tan was in a daze all the way until he walked out of the battlefield. He lost. But he still didn't understand why, why did he suddenly lose? He had clearly created the Thunder Prison. It was supposed to be his home turf. On the field, Butterfly used its psychic power to lift the big fat bear and pushed it into a healing pod. The cabin door closed. The liquid inside rose and quickly covered the electric bear. Su Hao saw that the injuries on the big fat bear's body were gradually disappearing. The status displayed on the interface also indicated that it was recovering rapidly. You go too. He looked at the flaming spirit crow. Among the sprites, the water unicorn beast did nothing. Cough, it took on an important duty of protecting him. Butterfly had only consumed a bit of spiritual force and was basically uninjured. But the injuries of the flaming spirit crow were not light. It directly resisted the purple lightning wing's unique skill, Berserk Thunder. Despite the weakening by the sun form and the protection of the flaming feather gown, it was still covered in wounds. Its spiritual force was also almost exhausted. With a squawk, the flaming spirit crow laid down in the healing cabin. Even so, it's already considered an easy win. If not for the disparity in intelligence, it wouldn't have been so easy to win. The electric bear's control of thunder created the best opportunity for the flaming spirit crow. Butterfly's spiritual orb was also a move that others didn't understand at all. On the surface, it was a physical attack. In fact, it contained a spiritual impact. Caught off guard, it gave the thunderous pig king a concussion and interrupted its thunderbolt cannon. Under all kinds of arrangements, it finally finished off the other party's core sprite in one go. It established the victory. It probably wouldn't be that easy to do it again. Mr. Su Hao, congratulations on successfully entering the special training camp. The water element instructor smiled and said, You're only a first year student this year, right? Impressive, work hard. I hope to see your figure in the school team soon. First year. Lei Tan, who was not far away, froze. Some of those who heard it turned their heads, suspecting that there was something wrong with their ears. He had only studied at Whale Island University for half a year. How were the third and fourth year seniors who had barely entered the special training camp supposed to live? How were they supposed to live? Whether it was the students from the special training camp or the ordinary students, all of them looked at Su Hao with a bit of shock, suspicion, and curiosity. They were curious about his identity. They were curious about his background. Some people also found this name a little familiar. They thought about it again and again. What the F asterisk CK? He's the one who defeated the second year elite during the freshman challenge segment. Lei Tan turned around. He was a second year student. He didn't know much about that matter. 
the news of eight elite second-year students being swept away caused quite a stir in the school. But what was truly surprising was the strategic ability of that new student, Su Hao. Not his strength. In terms of strength, he could only be considered one of the most outstanding freshmen. In just a short semester, he has already become so strong. After Flaming Spirit Crow and Big Fat Bear came out of the healing cabin, Su Hao still didn't leave. They continued to watch the battle. High-quality battles weren't always available to watch. Now that he was already a member of the special training camp, he was very relaxed. He brought his few sprites to watch leisurely. All kinds of special effects were very dazzling. Lei Tan didn't leave. He lost, but he still had a final chance. As a challenger, as long as he could defeat any of the nine older members, he could also replace their spot. Su Hao looked towards the arena. Lei Tan was battling with a senior named Wang something. The scene was very cool. Lightning arcs and flames intertwined. A few minutes later, Lei Tan lost. Their abilities are about the same, but Lei Tan is clearly not in his optimal state. To Su Hao's surprise. Apart from him, another person actually succeeded in the challenge. It was a third-year senior. His tyrant bear raised a sandstorm, countless gravel turned into a huge palm, grabbing a dream owl on the opposite side. It clenched tightly. Countless gravel exploded. Extraordinary. That senior only summoned his ace tyrant bear when he went on stage. When the instructors saw this, they were all extremely shocked. Elite level and extraordinary level were the first obstacles on the road to becoming an expert sprite trainer. There were many elite level sprite trainers. The vast majority of Whale Island University's students were already elite level during their first semester of university. But master level. Until graduation, there were still not many. This showed how difficult it was. He probably had a fortuitous encounter in the new world. Su Hao heard the others discussing this. But whether it was a fortuitous encounter or not, that tyrant bear still beat the opposing sprite. After spending some effort, they won. The person he replaced was a boy in yellow clothes. Su Hao didn't really care what his name was. Like Lei Tan, the boy in yellow could challenge others other than Su Hao and Zhou. But just like Lei Tan, he lost. He lost even more miserably. I heard that Lei Tan is a second-year student. He still has a chance to return to the special training camp next semester. And the yellow-clothed senior seems to be in his fourth year. But what did that have to do with Su Hao? The next day. It was still the special training camp. Under the lead of the water element instructor, Su Hao and Senior Zhou toured the whole special training area. Su Hao finally knew that this instructor's surname was Ma. Instructor Ma said, all of you are members of the special training camp now, but apart from being able to use the facilities here, the rest of the time is still the same as usual. You have to attend the lessons you need to attend, and complete the tasks you need to complete. Let me talk about the benefits of the special training camp first. As you know, you get 300 credits a month. If your ranking can increase, the credits received will increase correspondingly but that's not important. He paused and said, at the special training camp, there are two most precious places. One is the real illusion, and the other is the profound meaning stone tablet. Instructor Ma pointed ahead. There was a building that looked like a crystal tower. It was very spectacular and majestic. That is the real illusion. Everything inside is the same as the outside world. One can also injure and bleed apart from not really dying. You can battle there to your heart's content and experiment with some dangerous killer moves. The stronger a sprite is, the higher the risk of battle and destruction. Instructor Ma said. Both of them were very surprised. This is too advanced technology. Senior Joe asked what Su Hao wanted to ask, Instructor, how exactly is this illusion? How did it come about? He glanced at the two of them. With our Sky Blue Planet's current technology standards, it's not enough to develop a completely realistic illusion. 
the Crystal Tower was a treasure discovered by the principal when he was exploring the New World more than ten years ago. He brought it back. The researchers speculated that it might be a legacy left behind by a powerful sprite after it returned to nature. Apart from allowing you to fight without any worries, real illusion also has a challenge function inside. That's one of the things that evaluates your ranking. The students of the special training camp were all busy people, of course they couldn't be pulled out to battle every day. Then who was stronger and who was weaker, what did they determine? It would depend on the result of the real illusion challenge. Instructor Ma said, apart from credits, the higher your ranking, the more benefits you can enjoy. For example, real illusion and profound meaning stone tablet. There's only this one such place in the whole school. If the instructors want to use it, and you also want to use it, then what should we do? It depends on the ranking. Student Joe, your tyrant bear is already extraordinary. As long as you make up for it in other aspects, your ranking can increase quite a lot in a short period of time. Instructor Ma paused and said. The other evaluation of the ranking is the mission indicator. The school will arrange corresponding missions for you according to your strength and the length of time you have spent in the special training camp. They are also approximately in the area around Dragon Court Lake. The style is similar to the New World missions you've completed in the past, but it's more difficult. As he was speaking, he suddenly paused. He looked at Su Hao. Su Hao also looked at him. Instructor, my understanding of the New World is perhaps, probably, rather limited. Instructor Ma. He just remembered. Su Hao had never received training in the New World. But he was already a member of the special training camp. The sequence was reversed. What should he do? Waiting online, urgently. Chapter 198, The Person Who Stimulated School Reform Single-Handedly. 10,000 Wood Manor. Heavenly King Wu, whose hair was combed neatly, was personally tending to the flowers and plants in the manor. He wanted to trim these flowers and plants neatly. Fortunately, Little Junior has asked less questions recently. That was how he could be so carefree. The hair that had fallen in the past also showed signs of growing back. Heavenly King Wu was in a very good mood. Suddenly. He heard shouting from outside. T teacher. A person ran over hurriedly. Zaihoki, what's wrong? Did something big happen? An expert from the Dark Society is wreaking havoc. No, no. Zhang Zaihoki panted. Student Su, he. What happened to him? Heavenly King Wu thought that something had happened, so he raised the big scissors that was pruning the plants. Zhang Zaihoki shuddered violently, and his speech became much smoother. No, Su Hao entered the special training camp. He defeated Lei Tan who was originally ranked 97th. Heavenly King Wu. That expression seemed to say, are you kidding me? Zhang Zihoki expressed with his eyes, I had the same thought when I first found out. Little Su's improvement is actually so exaggerated. Heavenly King Wu was well aware of Su Hao's capabilities. Cough, from the looks of it, his understanding of Su Hao's strength wasn't comprehensive enough. He originally thought that Su Hao could enter the special training camp at the end of the second semester. Now, it seemed only one semester had passed. But, when the fourth year students graduated, he would roughly be able to enter the top 50 by then. The meaning was completely different. Did you bring the battle footage? Yes. Zhang Zaihoki took out a thumb drive. Inside was the battle footage recorded by the battle hall camera. After Heavenly King Wu finished watching, he really wanted to let out a what the f asterisk ck. But because Zhang Zihoki was here, in order to maintain the dignity of a teacher, he forcefully swallowed it. It actually advanced the flaming feather form. He could naturally tell that Su Hao won largely because of his good tactics. But if a sprite's battle power wasn't enough, no matter how good the tactical arrangements were, it would be useless. As for that flaming spirit crow. 
the reason it was able to finish off the purple lightning wings in a short two seconds was due to the blazing state of its whole body. It was a secret manual he developed himself. How many secret manuals had he developed? In time, Little Su will probably be able to leave behind a lot of sect inheritances. The next day. Whale Island University, High Level Meeting The muscular Heavenly King Buladin sat down on the specially made wide chair with a bang and looked at Heavenly King Wu. Old Wu, your junior is impressive. That's... Heavenly King Wu was shocked yesterday, but he was showing off today. Heavenly King Buladin snorted. Go away, not you. Heavenly King Wu was still showing off. And Heavenly King Buladin couldn't refute it. Before long, the five heavenly kings, eight first-level instructors, and two vice-principals who were still in school had arrived. Instructor Ma stood up and spoke. Five minutes later. That's what happened. Student Su Hao is already a member of the special training camp, but the assessment mission of the special training camp in the new world is temporarily not easy to arrange for him. The heavenly kings and instructors were discussing fervently. The assessment was easy, they just had to postpone it for the time being. They could assign missions to Su Hao after completing the New World's training in the next semester. But, what if a second Su Hao appears in the future? They couldn't disrupt the mission arrangements of the special training camp time and time again. I think we can bring forward the training time. One of the instructors said, the conditions now are even better. The students' abilities are also getting stronger each batch. We can totally arrange for the training to be held at the beginning of the freshman school term. During the collective training, there are instructors to look after them. Even if the freshmen aren't at the elite level, they won't be in much danger in the wild. Besides, the college entrance examination has already been reformed. All the new students have experience in surviving in the wild. Our university should also follow the policy closely and push forward the training time completely. The school's higher UPS continued to discuss. They felt that it was indeed possible. After all, times had changed. If not for Su Hao's appearance, they might not have realized this. The managing vice president made the final decision. All right, I'll bring the news to the principal. If the principal has no objections, from the next batch onwards, the New World Collective training will be arranged at the beginning of the first semester. Su Hao still didn't know that he had single-handedly pushed for the reform of the school's teaching plan. At this moment, he was holding a special training camp introduction book in his hand. The profound meaning stone tablet of the special training camp and the usage of the real illusion doesn't require credits, but, there's a share. I'm currently ranked 97th and my remuneration is between 51 to 100. I only have one chance to comprehend the stone tablet every month and 10 hours of real illusion time. All sprites could enter the real illusion together. However, the opportunity to comprehend the stone tablet could only be used by one sprite. But it's said that the effect is very good. It can allow sprites' comprehension of profound meanings to improve by leaps and bounds. Unfortunately, there are too few opportunities. Both the stone tablet and the crystal tower were treasures unearthed from the new world. They couldn't be man-made. It was much more precious than things like gravity machines. Only by increasing my ranking can I have more time and opportunities. There are also some special rewards for those ranked at the front. For example, students in the top 30 could get a pseudo-monarch sprite in its initial form. He could also use this opportunity to attain a rare sprite thanks to the school. Another example was if he could maintain the top three positions for more than half a year. He could ask two master sprite cultivators from the school to personally design an evolution plan for sprites. But, Su Hao suddenly realized that it didn't seem attractive to him. It wasn't smart. But the usage time of the facilities and various gift packages. Those were a little attractive to him. Su Hao was greedy. But deep down, he knew what to expect. With my current strength, I can't even rush out of the top 90, let alone the top 50. 
the booklet also had a rough introduction of the strength of the special training camp students. Here, because many people's sprites were stuck at the elite level limit, and they divided the limit into upper, middle and lower levels according to their battle power. The top 50 must have at least two upper limit sprites and a complete tactical system. He opened the interface again and analyzed the battle power of the Sua family's four sprites. The Flaming Spirit Crow is approximately mid-level. Of course, it hasn't developed to its limit yet. As for Reverie Butterfly, it can only be considered low-level. Su so Hao held his chin and analyzed. Butterfly, who was on the sofa, heard the sound and looked over, her little face puffed up and her eyes widened. And sent him a question mark. The dumb unicorn also asked, Neho. You? You're unqualified. Neho, underscore, oh. Dumb unicorn knelt down. On the third day after obtaining a spot in the special training camp, Su Hao brought the four sprites and prepared to experience the legendary real illusion. He arrived at the bottom of the crystal tower. When he looked up, the whole tower was about eight to nine floors high. It was entirely made of crystal, and there were no signs of having been pieced together at all. There were staff members in the crystal tower. Su Hao showed the student card. Hello, do you have a spot now? I want to experience the illusion for half an hour. Please follow me. The staff member said and led him to a room on the third floor. Su Hao saw that the door and walls of the room were also made of crystal, but they were clearly different from the tower, as if they were man-made. The staff member opened the door for him and instructed, if you die in the illusion, you will automatically exit. You won't be able to enter again within 12 hours, but the unused duration won't be counted. Don't worry. Su Hao nodded. He brought his sprites into the room. The walls, floors and ceiling were all crystal, shining brightly. Butterfly stared straight at it, almost unable to move its eyes away. At this moment, suddenly, mist filled the room, becoming thicker and thicker, completely enveloping them. Chapter 199, I'm Dead Just Like That Su Hao was a little dazed as he was surrounded by the thick mist. But in the blink of an eye, the surrounding mist dissipated. Under the glaring sunlight, he instinctively raised his hand to shield his forehead. This is... Su Hao's eyes widened. In front of him was no longer the crystal room, but, a vast grassland. The wind swayed the grass, and the clouds drifted in the sky. A breeze blew past, blowing his hair slightly. Su Hao was shocked. He could feel that his current consciousness was very clear, and he didn't feel any fatigue at all. It was completely different from when he was pulled into illusion by Butterfly. In simple words, it was realistic. He couldn't see any falsehood. Su Hao squatted down and smelled grass and soil. He touched it again and reached out to grab a blade of grass. It yanked it up forcefully. Uprooting it together. It was still very realistic. The four sprites were also very surprised. The water unicorn beast recovered quickly. With a neigh, it started running happily on the grassland. Flaming spirit crow stood there dazed, with its head tilted. The electric bear picked up a handful of grass mixed with mud and threw it into its mouth, before spitting it out again. Not yummy. This stupid bear underscore. Su Hao looked at Butterfly, and saw it hovering in midair, thinking. It used its hand to support its chin. But its short arms were too short. If one didn't look carefully, they wouldn't be able to tell that it was holding its chin. Su Hao walked over and poked it. Did you see the traces of the illusion? Gurgle. It flew to the top of Su Hao's head and sat down. It was saying that when the thick fog shrouded them just now, there were some traces of illusion, but it couldn't be told now, gurgle. If one kept going in, out, in, and out, one might be able to see something, gurgle. Su Hao recalled the state when he stepped into the illusion just now. In a daze. It looked like it was only for an instant, but he couldn't be sure whether it was a long or a short time. Furthermore, 
he had only activated the illusion experience for half an hour. Let's try something else first. He said, then looked at Flaming Spirit Crow and instructed, explode with the full power of sun form. Let me see your current destructive power. Squawk. Squawk. The Flaming Spirit Crow flapped its wings and flew into the sky in an instant. A large dark red bird soared. Suddenly, feathers of fire appeared on its body, and flames blossomed outside the feathers. In the blink of an eye, it turned into a small orange sun and appeared under the sun. Squawk! It paused for a moment before diving straight down. The flames on its body became more and more intense. Amidst the burning orange light, a faint golden color could be seen. It exerted a large amount of spiritual force, completely displaying the power of the sun form. A blazing sun directly smashed onto the prairie. Boom! A dazzling light exploded. Even though they were hundreds of meters away, there were still waves of strong wind sweeping over. Su Hao covered his forehead with his hand and looked over. Smoke and dust filled the air in front of him, and a flaming spirit crow that had its sun form fade away, flew up. Let's go and take a look. The water unicorn beast was too far away, so he might as well run there himself. As he ran, he felt that it was too slow, so he let Butterfly carry him with psychic powers. Gurgle. Su Hao nodded. The next moment, a force enveloped him. His feet left the ground and he flew forward while swaying. Sometimes, he flew to a height of three to four meters, and sometimes, he almost dragged his legs onto the grass. Butterfly's ability to carry people was clearly insufficient. But they arrived at the pit safely. Gurgle. Butterfly wiped its sweat. Su Hao shook his legs. There won't be a next time. It was safer to ride the water unicorn. He looked over. In front of him was a large round pit four to five meters in diameter on the grass. Everything in the pit had mostly melted, only some flames and smoke could be seen. Surrounding that was scorched grassland, covering a circumference of more than 20 meters. Su Hao also saw that in front of the big pit, two cracks extended outwards those were traces left behind by blades. This was also the first time he saw how destructive the strongest attack of the flaming spirit crow was. In the past, even in the training area, they didn't dare to be too destructive. No wonder the real illusion is so important. Even the flaming spirit crow is so strong. If those extraordinary level sprites were to experiment with a killer move, they would probably destroy everything in a radius of dozens to hundreds of meters. Even if there's an earth element construction team, they can't do this. Flaming spirit crow wreaking havoc. Butterfly did research. Water unicorn beast. Electric. Su Hao tried for a while in the real illusion, and then stopped. Time is tight, let's take a look at what exactly is the challenge mode. The introduction book mentioned how to activate the challenge mode. Su Hao called back a few sprites and made them stay alert. Then, he looked up at the sky. He shouted, I want to challenge. The sound spread far and wide. The few sprites looked over. Su Hao felt a little ashamed. Who exactly set up the activation method? But he didn't have time to think. Just as he finished speaking, Wolf howls echoed in the distance. Howl. Several muscular ground wolves appeared in his vision. They charged straight over, raising waves of smoke and dust. Investigate. Su Hao instructed and added, Don't rush blindly. Flaming spirit crow flew into the sky. The next moment. It used the contract connection to send a message. Five ground wolves, five goat horn immortals. How strong, he asked again. Flaming Spirit Crow couldn't answer. After all, it was just a crow. Su Hao was rendered speechless. He was asking for too much. At this point, he was in the illusion and couldn't use the interface to check. Su Hao thought for 0.3 seconds and pressed his index and middle fingers together. Four cursors appeared before his two fingers. He wiped his eyes with both fingers. The next moment. 
two different scenes appeared in his eyes. One was the scene he saw himself, and the other was the scene the flaming spirit crow was seeing. Five ground wolves were approaching quickly. The five goat horn immortals were also nearby. Su Hao observed and gradually frowned. Although they look a bit stiff, but... Based on the luster, body, and spiritual force circulation halo, these ground wolves and goat horn immortals are probably, at the limit of elite level. What the f asterisk ck? The enemy sprites were already approaching closely. He didn't have time to think and quickly gave the order. Fire crow, attack the goat horn immortal at the back. Let's stall those ground wolves. He got onto the water unicorn beast, brought the electric bear and butterfly, and planned play around with a few ground wolves. Using their flaw of being relatively stiff. Su Hao was thinking. Suddenly. A sapling emerged from the grass and grew rapidly, cracking the surrounding ground. The sapling grew into a tree vine and clinged onto the water unicorn beast's hooves. With a neigh, it broke free from the vines and stepped into the air. But the electric bear was directly tied up. Even though its whole body was covered in lightning, those vines also grew thorns and pierced into its hair. Wood element unique skill, bind, tree growth. At the same time, three ground wolves pounced over. They used gravity to envelop butterfly and water unicorn beast. Su Hao's heart sank. He felt like he couldn't breathe, as if all his internal organs were about to be crushed by an overly strong gravity. The next moment, a protective screen appeared on his body, and that extremely uncomfortable feeling was swept away. Su Hao took a deep breath. However, swoosh. Several vines swept over like whips. The water unicorn beast dodged with a step, but at some point, vines started wrapping around its body. They tightened abruptly. It immediately froze. A ground wolf happened to pounce and bite it. Two sprites fell from a low altitude. Su Hao also rolled down from the horse's back and smashed onto the grass with a bang. Vines rose from the surrounding trees. Not far away, Butterfly wanted to fly over anxiously, but it was trapped in the vine cage, and a ground wolf was waiting for an opportunity. The situation became more and more dangerous. The flaming spirit crow pounced towards the goat horn immortal behind it. Under the dazzling light, countless tree vines were burned, but a ground wolf stepped on the vine bridge and pounced on it while resisting the fire. The chaotic battle didn't last long. In front of Su Hao, the protective screen was broken. The mouth of the ground wolf kept enlarging in his eyes. Phew. He sat up abruptly, as though he was awakened from a dream. Below him was a hard crystal floor. Then, he looked at the time on the sprite commandeering wristband. It's actually only been 11 minutes. I'm dead this fast. Chapter 200, Flaming Spirit Crow, Sword Draw Are you guys all right? Su Hao looked at the sprites. They also looked like they had just woken up. Butterfly waved, flapped its wings again, and leaped onto him in an instant. Gurgle gurgle, gurgle. It called out, then flew above its head reservedly and laid down. Flaming feathers emerged on the dazed crow's body the moment it woke up. It only dispersed the flames on its body after it regained its senses. It also made a squawk sound to indicate that it was all right. Nay, huh? The water unicorn beast raised its hooves and looked back at the scales on its body. Well, it's all right, nay. It's good that everything is well. The electric bear was stunned. Ah. It pointed at itself. Something's wrong, something's wrong. Su Hao, don't feel that. I see that you're fine. This bear was clearly full of energy, but it liked whining excessively. How could it carry the flag of being the meat shield? The electric bear was stunned. It rolled on the floor. I'm such a miserable bear. Su Hao was rendered speechless. Butterfly. Dazed crow. Dumb unicorn. All eyes looked over, and the electric bear that was rolling around froze. It looked up and asked weakly, Hey. From stepping into the room to exiting the illusion, 
it only took 11 minutes. It was too fast. He used less than half of the half an hour of illusion. Fortunately, the webmaster here. Cough, the staff member said that the unused time won't be counted. But Su Hao wasn't too sure. The length of time referred to whether they were in an illusion or in the crystal room. He didn't plan to stay for long and wanted to push open the door and leave. Right at this moment. From the corner of his eye, Su Hao saw words appear on the wall. Challenge assessment, 10 marks. Su Hao was rendered speechless. If he remembered correctly, if he successfully passed the first round, he would get a minimum of 100 marks. In other words, each sprite skill was 10 points, and clearing the level within a short period of time would allow one to receive additional points. 10 marks means that the flaming spirit crow killed a sheep in the end. But this result. His wristband suddenly vibrated. He took a look. Oh, the ranking of the special training camp had been updated it seemed like he had triggered the updating mechanism. He dropped from 97th to 100th place directly. Minus 100 Su Hao, 10 points. Minus 99 Zhou Wenming, 50 points. 98 Qi Lin, 66 points. Minus 3 Qin Yi. Minus 2 Zhang Zihuki. Minus 1 Wang Qi. Su Hao was rendered speechless. Truthfully, his real score was definitely more than 10 points. Many sprites were exhausted before the challenge. The illusion sprite isn't as stiff as it looks, its coordination is very skilled. I keep feeling that the vine cage tactic was designed by Senior Wu. More importantly, I made a stupid mistake and sent them off in one go. Unicorn didn't display his advantage in running. If not for it. Cough, if not for Su Hao bumping into it himself, he could totally pull the ground wolf around in circles. Together with Butterfly and Flaming Spirit Crow, they could kill one or two of them if they caught the opportunity to do so. Electric Bear? It didn't have anything to do with it. I was too reckless in the end. Once I reached the illusion, I let myself go. No, that won't do. Use survival as the core strategic point, and implement the two tactics, which are the sneak attack of the Flaming Spirit Crow, as well as the interference of Butterfly. It was winter break. But it had nothing to do with Su Hao at all. He rushed between the special training camp, the dormitory, and the library. He was very busy. It wasn't just him. Even ordinary students from Whale Island University rarely went home. Even if they went back, they wouldn't stay at home for too long. Only in school could they enjoy its benefits and resources. On Whale Island, anyone who stopped advancing would be left behind by others. Library, fourth floor. Profound meaning, slashing. I got it. Su so Hao found a few types of profound meanings such as splitting, slashing, and chopping. After communicating with the flaming spirit crow, he finally chose the profound meaning of the dual blade style. Flaming spirit crow has an assassin type battle style. Apart from the profound meaning of the dual blade style, it also has to start with the unique skill slashing. Slashing was a universal unique skill. It was a very basic unique skill, similar to charging. But. I remember that there was an instructor in school who used the unique skill slashing to fuse with a certain profound meaning, creating the secret manual sword draw. That kind of secret manual is very suitable for flaming spirit crow. Su so Hao found the instructor named Wu Yang Feng. When he arrived, Instructor Wu was practicing slashing with his students. When swinging the sword, one has to combine essence, energy, and spirit, and have an indomitable aura. Instructor Wu held the sword with both hands and was barefoot. His legs were slightly apart, making him look like an ancient swordsman. With a swing of the sword, it cut through the air, creating loud sounds of the wind. He waved his sword a few times before he noticed Su Hao standing at the door. Instructor Wu, Su Hao called out. Instructor Wu put away the sharp, long saber and walked over. You're Su Hao, the student who made an appointment yesterday to learn sword draw, right? I am. 
which sprite of yours is preparing to learn the sword draw? That's it. Under Su Hao's signal with his eyes, the flaming spirit crow displayed steel wings and wing attack. Its wings became sharp, and it slashed down forcefully. Whoosh! Instructor Wu nodded slightly. Its foundation is all right. He then asked, I see that you've only made an appointment for five days. The learning of sword draw requires the heart to be as still as water, and requires countless slashes. You won't be able to learn it in five days. It'll take at least a month or two before you can begin learning the basics. If you lack credits, I can delay collecting them. Su Hao declined politely. He expressed that he was collecting various moves to reference and integrate. At the back of the training field, large rocks stood tall. There were also modeled sword marks on many large rocks. Instructor Wu brought Su Hao and his two students here. To learn sword draw, firstly, the casting and usage of the unique skill slashing requires complete control. For example, Instructor Wu picked up a rock from the ground and placed it on a wooden table. He unsheathed his sword and stared at the stone. His aura suddenly changed. Suddenly. Whoosh. The light from the silver blade flashed, and the long blade was immediately put back into its sheath by Instructor Wu. Su Hao saw the stone on the wooden table split into two with a click. Yet, the wooden table was still intact. The instructor Wu in front of him was probably also a Heavenly King Buleton styled expert. His individual combat power was extraordinary. He looked at it seriously, not daring to move his eyes away. After all, he could only rely on himself to unlock the interface. If he relied on the dazed crow to learn by itself, it could barely learn it in one to two months, and it would only be effectively utilized after three to five months. That was too slow. He, Su Hao, was a person who valued time. Instructor Wu continued, after completely mastering the unique skill slashing, the second step requires mastery of the profound meaning. The profound meaning is the sublimation of skill, which is an even greater core concept. My philosophy is that blood must be shed once the blade is out. When using sword draw, one needs to have a calm mind to be able to sense all the changes in the surroundings, and have complete control of the body and mind. If it's us humans learning, we still need to be one with the sword, and need to carry swords at all times. In comparison, it is easier for sprites to learn. In general, sword draw wasn't a particularly difficult secret manual to learn. But, it would take a lot of time to master sword draw to a profound level. One needed to feel it with one's heart. Instructor Wu even lent a knife to Su Hao, for him to practice swinging together with them. Now, I'll let my sprite show you what a real sword draw is. He whistled. A leaf blade warrior leaped out of the forest nearby and appeared in front of them in a flash. It's an elite level limit leaf blade warrior. Su Hao thought to himself. The leaf blade warrior was only a first stage evolved form. With limited potential, it was very difficult to break through. But he wouldn't underestimate it because of this. In his eyes, the leaf blade warrior walked steadily towards a huge rock more than two meters tall. He saw. The tall leaf blade warrior raised its arm, and the blade-like leaves on it straightened, emitting emerald green light. Whoosh! The emerald green sword shadow shook. Silence again. The leaf blade warrior seemed to be standing on the spot, not moving at all. A thin line appeared on the huge rock in front of him, and cracking sounds were heard. A few seconds later, the huge rock split into two and collapsed. The whole surface was smooth, shiny and flat. When the flaming spirit crow saw this, it immediately flapped its wings in excitement. Coach, I want to learn this. <laughs>